tonight we are transforming generosity into fearlessness. Welcome, I'm Heidi Johansson and this is Galas and Giving, Shaw TV Spotlight on local charity events. The Shaw Conference Centre is where the Glen Rose Rehabilitation Hospital Foundation is hosting its annual Courage Gala. Funds are being raised for key projects that are changing lives and shaping futures. Together, we are Courage, so be sure and stay with us. We are Courage, we are strong. All together, we sing our song. Lyrics from tonight's anthem, an embodiment of this gala. If I go back, you know, five or six years, this event was held with 300 people. And there was a big fear from the gala committee to say, can we move it or what's it going to do? It was called something totally different. So we revamped, rebranded, re-looked at this particular event and said, let's take a chance. So strong group of people who say, we believe that we can do this. But, you know, there were a lot of folks who were saying, I don't know. But at some point we had to say, we need, we need to try something different. We need to use this as an opportunity to raise the profile of the Glen Rose Hospital. But we want it to be fun. It's got to be about the patients, it's got to be about their journey, it's got to be about what happens at the Glen Rose, but we want people walking away to say, you know what, I get it now, and I'm really, really engaged, and I want to learn more. The Glen Rose Rehabilitation Hospital supports patients on the road to recovery. There are over 90 hospitals in Alberta. We are the only rehabilitation hospital in Alberta, and that makes a big difference. And we have to continue to tell our story. You know, we often build relationships that remain with these, with our patients and their families for the rest of their lives. Um, we're thrilled this year, 836 attendees sold out for the second year in a row. Last year, uh, we sold out at the end of February and we were just about on that same place again this year. And I agree, it has become a, an event that people want to attend to, but that comes through with a lot of hard work from the committee, but also the cause. Because of donor investments, the Glen Rose Foundation is helping the hospital be ready for the future now. We have the opportunity within this gala to really narrow it down to some key, um, interesting and exciting, innovative and creative new opportunities that we can fund for the Glen Rose Hospital to raise the bar of what they're doing. Exciting news. Funds from tonight's gala will be going directly to pediatric rehabilitation giving physicians such as Dr. Lynn Sonnenberg the opportunity they need to think outside the box. We come up with ideas or new therapies that we just don't know what the evidence is behind those. And so funds that are raised at these galas go specifically to those grassroots projects at the Glen Rose to see if what we're doing is actually making a difference. A valuable and much needed asset in our community. I think rehabilitation is an interesting field in that you never want it to affect you, but in so many ways, these issues, these tragedies, these circumstances come at us and we're not prepared. And when they do, you're greeted by a family at the Glen Rose, and that's what I'm a part of, and I think that's what this night, night speaks to as well, that we are a family. It was the unexpected that brought Aisha Clark and her daughter Naya to the Glen Rose Hospital. Clark refers to the hospital as Edmonton's hidden gem, a gem that restored her little girl's sparkle. My daughter was completely paralyzed and they like brought her back to life to me and like I just can't say enough about it because it really, at the most dramatic time in my life, they saved us. Determination, strength and comfort saw them through some of their darkest hours. Some days, you know, you feel like, okay, I got this, I can handle it. But some days I would literally go there and break down. And I just think there was a lot of support there. The support groups, everybody helped my family get through it, not just Naya. As this year's gala ambassador, Naya was also part of the Glen Rose photojournalism project. Photographer Jody Bailey captured fortitude and proof that the life they live is a powerful one. My favorite thing is to color, play with my cousins, and I like doing my physio, and my, I like playing Barbies with my, all my friends, and that's all I really, that's all I really like. Well, I think you look very beautiful tonight, and I thank you so much for speaking with us. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I will. I hope you do too. <laughs> Thank you, Naya. More moments to capture and tell the Glen Rose story came from Uptown Party Band. 
and the contemporary dance movements from Emerge Dance Academy. As well, an original painting by Giselle Denis and an exhibit displaying elements of growth and renewal that are vital to the rehabilitation journey. Select silent auction items were available, some enviable bonus raffle prizes, and one grand live auction item donated by Luxus Vacation Properties. The seven-night stay in Tuscany, Italy at two Panico properties went to two successful bidders. It was a surprise, jaw-dropping donation made by the Chatty family for $1 million that was celebrated. And this evening's fundraising total is in excess of $900,000. Tonight will significantly empower the Glenrose Rehabilitation Hospital to continue to give courage strength in order to change lives. And each day when I walk down the, through, you know, the Unit 201, our pediatric inpatient ward, and I am surrounded by courage in the families, in our patients, and also in the staff as we surround these families and provide them with the support they need. And that's courage to find. It's a hospital where the human spirit shines. And I couldn't even express just a thank you to them because how do you thank someone that saved your life and changed your life? There's not enough words for me to say how grateful my family is. An incredible evening where we stand to encourage courage. For more information and how you can support this cause, go to glenrosefoundation.com. And if you would like Shaw TV to cover your event, email us at galasandgiving at shaw.ca. From the Shaw Conference Center, I'm Heidi Johansson. Hair Services for Galas and Giving is sponsored by Raw Beauty Inc. With Medical Facial Aesthetics sponsored by External Affairs Medical Spa. Clothing provided by Simons.